guys, Romy here, so please like, comment, subscribe. This is my review for Star Season 2, Episode 3. For you, good night. Anyway, the episode starts off with Alex. And I said, no, this can't be what it looks like. This can't. Well, it is what it looks like in a sense. So you see Derek. Derek's kind of moaning and I'm like he looks uncomfortable she's like am I doing okay it's like yeah keep going it's fine and she was you couldn't really see her you saw her head kind of bobbing I said they are not they are we this isn't how we're starting this show off I know it's not especially with them so it turns out that I was right oh yeah like I said the sound will be fixed by next week I thought it was gonna be this week all the stuff that I bought um is not compatible so I'm just gonna have to go and get something else and I'll have it for next week's videos the sound will be regular do apologize thank you for bearing with me all these months I absolutely appreciate it now again please like comment subscribe uh, so Alex was actually putting in his cat there and so because he can't really move around like that so he has a pee bag and it, it sucks she can tell that it's like okay now i get it why she just seems so super stressed carlotta says that they have something going on so um everyone's getting ready for the day simone she's still i've seen juvie we see cotton cotton she's in the bathroom but she's actually pleasuring herself because she's thinking about her prison bay and that's all well and good but star catches her it's like oh so were you ever gonna come out like Wait a minute, sorry, you didn't even wake up this early. I had to because we had things to do. We have things to do, we have money to make. So then, Star goes and sits on the toilet and pees while Cotton's still in the bathroom. And they're just acting like this is normal, everyday stuff. I said, what? If you say so. Downstairs, we see that Bruce is changing things around. Carla is like, don't get too new. Now, um, here's the thing. It's a little weird, because even though you know who is in High Hill, he was downstairs, I guess the girls didn't get informed yet, or maybe they just didn't see him yet, because then something happens a little bit later that threw me off, and he was uh, you know, trying to talk to Carlotta, he always looks like he's a mess and he's on something, so that's when, what's her name, that's when Cotton decided, okay, I have work to do, Cotton looked very dressed up, I said, where are you going looking like that? She's going to her job. And I'm thinking, working for who? So, High Hill's like, look, we need to talk. And she's like, I don't have time to talk to you. I don't have time for you to try and put yourself back in my life after you went and pulled that little stunt to get away in the first place. So now we're back at the record company and Boss Lady is telling everyone, giving them the marching orders of the fact that she's going to do this competition. But before that, there's actually going to be a little segment for... Um, Good morning. Well, it's not Good Morning America, but it's essentially like one of those morning shows and live morning shows. And we already have Luke James' character, and uh, he's going to be on there because they're going to officially say that he's joining that record label. Now they're also figuring out the slots for who's going to be doing what and where and performing and proving themselves and. Everyone gets regular gigs until it gets to Big Trouble. And Big Trouble, they get <laughs> they get stuck with a mall venue. And not one of those, oh man, it's packed. It's actual mall that you know people try and get to when they're uh, early performers. No, it's one of those, okay, you're right by the food court and no one knows who you are. And you're allowed to just entertain the people. If they like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. And Carlotta jumps in and says, wait a minute, what's going on? What are you trying to do this shit? Look, this is my label, my rules. If you don't like it, you got to figure something else out. And they're also going to do the song, a remix version of the song that they all loved, but the remix is trash. The remix sounds like some pop, um, like quick club. Little, it's not even a bop. It's just a mmm. So they're trying to figure out how they're going to make it all work. And Alex is stressed. This entire episode, you see Alex is stressed. And we see Alex and Star go at it. And Star's just like, oh, a nice little another present for mommy. That's the necklace. No, that's the bracelet that she stole from the store. And because um, she told Derek, oh, my mother got it for me a while ago. Or it was a present from a while ago. And Star's just like, you know what? 
your life's still looking pretty good because stars always throwing it in Alex's face that you always have the ability to go back and you know have whatever you want while they're doing that they're arguing and Simone's trying to stop them in comes High Hill they looked at him like I I thought no one how so no they didn't know that High Hill was uh, back or alive and like back back period back is in a lie and they're just looking at him like okay dude who what where when how what what is going on and what ends up happening is he's there he's saying look i know carla is supposed to be managing you but she, you ladies are a wreck you're a mess and i get yeah i have a bomb track for you he said they said no you went and tried to screw us over you went and tried to use our group to launch your little latina superstar and that didn't work out so now you want us to crawl back because i had to think about it like why what was the major falling out especially since he was helping them cover all of this up but yeah he did go behind their backs and try to almost take their dream away from them i do remember that so it made sense that they were still upset um now ball the record lady's assistant she's looking at carlotta like what's good because carlotta's upset with him because carlotta isn't allowed in the office anymore. She says, well, you allowed me in before. It's like, yeah, I didn't think you were going to go and put your feet up. You said, I can make myself comfortable. I'm thinking, Carla, <laughs> come on now. And then, uh, it, so this guy comes in and he just like, oh, no, I got it covered. She's like, uh, you're not going to go mold me around. And I only want to talk to the a and that's supposed to be representing us. And that was actually him. That was him. And Carla was like, oh, here's the thing this is a different time you can't go in there just demanding what you want and people will just give it to you uh, essentially like the stick stick him up type of mentality that doesn't work nowadays and so he said look you guys need to prove yourself you guys are the underdog boss lady doesn't like the fact that i don't like that phrase uh record head doesn't like the fact that she didn't get to choose you guys she you were forced upon her because of a competition because of a technicality so you're gonna have to prove yourself and i said oh okay cotton indeed is working for her ex yeah the dude that put her in jail because she stole from him and there's this man who was saying oh look at you uh, he didn't say dark chocolate it was like what are you looking like a chocolate chip biscuit? Something like that. And, of course, her boss slash ex-boyfriend is like, no, 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 don't disrespect her like that. And then he said, shut up, you Chinese man. I looked at him like, so, wait a minute, sir, you're the boss, right? He needs to go. And that's exactly what happened. He fired the guy. And I said, that guy needs to go regardless. Cotton said, no, don't do that for me. Just show me where I'm going to work. And I guess she doesn't want to bring attention to herself because her response is like, please, once you see what I got, you'll be one more. I'm thinking, we'll see about that. Star still flirting with Luke James' character. I promise you, I'll know his, his name eventually. Or someone leave it in the comment box below. I thought his name is obviously not Nas. Is it Nah? It's something like that. Anyway... So he's saying, oh, this is cute because he shows up at their mall, <laughs> their mall performance and he's getting his shoes shine. Star steps on his shoes while he's trying to go and bring up more buzz for the fact that he's going to be in the award show tomorrow. That's what celebrities do sometimes. People don't really realize how this works. When you have to go and generate buzz, a lot of times you're told or you obviously know you need to go out to the people, especially if it's in that local area, go and make your presence known so that one people show up tomorrow because a lot of times there's usually an outside performance or they go and pan to the fans it's all marketing and fluff but he's there to see if they're going to crash and burn or not um alex is dealing with a lot because she needs to get Derek's medical situated um medical situation situated it's not working out so she's so frustrated stars like girl we gotta go she throws the phone, breaks it, and I'm thinking, okay, so mommy's going to give you a new one. Got it. Uh, even I was thinking for a moment, you can do that because mommy's going to give you a new one. And she it just kind of brushes off Star. They get on stage. They're performing, and they all realize that no one's paying attention to them. Alex, who I said, oh, no, she's, she's about to have a mental break because it looked like she stopped moving. But no, that was just in her mind. And we see this 
takeaway of her kind of singing to herself and saying, this isn't the girl that you are. You're not really that hood ratchet girl. And I said, of course we know that. The thug life, the hard life, the hood life isn't for you. And that's what she's telling herself. So when she's up there and no one's paying her attention, her father's this big superstar, they finish the performance and she's just like, you know what? And bleep you, Atlanta. She takes the microphone stand and breaks the amp and it shoot, it destroys the power because the amp takes a lot, a lot of power. It takes out the power in the, in the entire mall. So you know everyone's looking at her like, what the heck is wrong with her? So of course, with that happening, the next scene is the record head uh, president brings her in and says, look, why'd you do that? What is wrong with you? Are you dense? Are you slow? Like, I get it that you are a B, but are you slow too? So it's like, I'll show you. I said, uh -uh, no, we're not doing that, Alex. We're not doing that. But Carla spun, spun it. She said, look, that video of her, and you know, it has the, the group name and all of that. It already has over 200,000 uh, views. In how many hours? Not even days. How many hours? And so they're bringing up buzz. And that's, and it is a testament to how things are now, nowadays. The reason why the Cash Me Outside girl can get a record deal that quick. The reason why this, this, and that. That's how it works nowadays. Views, likes, because it's all about attention. If they feel like they can make money off of you, they'll put almost anyone, anything out. And that's the truth. And it's sad, but it's the truth. So, record, um, so the record president said, okay, you can go and join, um, Niger, whatever his name is, Luke James' character, on stage tomorrow, and they're like, wait, so we're being rewarded for it? But I'm thinking, mm-mm, mm-mm, it's not what you think. High Hill, he's in his uh, motel ho home room, uh, motel room, and he's trying to come up with a song, and it's just not coming, it's not coming, but then he figures it out, and we don't ever hear the song today. We don't hear it in this episode, but he has this ha-ha moment. I loved when someone was like yo shut up it was like you shut up i'm happy <laughs> and uh they're all just trying to figure out okay what perform what song they're gonna do they're gonna do their old stuff because they want alex to try something new and she's like no 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 i don't want to do it i want to think about it. i just want to go i have things to do by i'm like okay okay star seems uh luke james performing and practicing and i said look at this this is giving me a new addition minus um everyone else and she goes downstairs because it's star she's saying look we're doing things our own way we're getting things accomplished and he's essentially telling her don't be smelling yourself too much because everything glitters isn't gold so now it's the next day they're in the studio they're practicing they have their <laughs> they have their supreme dresses on and everything's going well. They're all happy and whatnot. High Hill comes back because he's like, I have this song for you. I have this song. We're like, oh, Lord, it's the Coke, isn't it? But he, Carlotta takes him outside and he says, no, it's not Coke this time. It's just caffeine. Another C. Not Coke, caffeine. And he just wants a shot. He just wants a chance. He understands what he did was wrong. He's sorry. And she said, no, that's not how this works. You can get another chance, but somewhere else. Because we can't just go and let you do whatever you want type of thing so once they get there they find out that they're actually the backup singers the backup the background singers and they were pissed their feelings were hurt uh and record president said you didn't think i'm just gonna call her miss l because i think her first initial is l so miss l goes and says oh is it miss Lori? uh maybe it's miss Lori, or uh, anyway, she's like, yeah, you didn't think that I would reward bad behavior. Now, did you? And they almost had to look at, well, yeah. So they're told, okay, they have to go and cover up because they're just going to be in the background. And Star has this brilliant idea of, so we're still going to be on camera at the same time, right? Who says that we can't perform and take over? I said, uh, what are you about to do? So the performance starts. And Luke's doing his thing up front, and then Star, because originally they were pretty much doing the 
oohs and ahs and yep, yeah, it is. Two times, two times. One time, one time. Yeah, yeah. And then it switched over from that to, you used to be a bad bitch, now I'm a star. <laughs> I said, wait a minute, what? They just took over his song. They took over his song for the entire performance. And they, because they even choreographed it up to the point where he kept trying to get in there in front of the camera. And then, you used to be a bad one, now I'm number one. <laughs> now I'm the only one. <laughs> and that's what happened for like three minutes. And I appreciate it. I really did like it. Carlotta was cackling like, oh. I didn't tell them to do that, but I'm glad they did. <laughs> it was cool. It was cool. I enjoyed it. Record Lady, of course, was pissed. Pissed. Miss L was pissed, as we know she would be. Luke was pissed. His star. They said, mm, let you handle that. And he kind of walked up on her like, look, I understand you used to get in your way, just doing whatever you want, but that isn't happening over here. I looked at him like, excuse me, sir. Back up. Back, back, back up, because that, that tendency, I said, oh god, that's star's type. It's star's type through and through. Someone who is kind of authoritative and puts her in her place. Hate that phrase, but, um, so I looked at this like star's in love now. I know it, and she shouldn't be. You don't want to be around something like that. Like, star does need someone who has a backbone, but there's a difference between having a backbone and, you know, essentially... Be, Borderline being the abuser. I'm not putting that on him, but I just got it got me very weird. I didn't like that feeling. I didn't like that look. Maybe it's because of the fact that it just it, it just gave me hunter flashes, like mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. And he's an artist, so he's super emotional. Lord why if he's just more so the type that goes and tries to ruin your career. Who knows? Anyway. Uh everything seemed to be working well actually with Cotton at her new job. And so, her ex is still trying to take her out. She's like, no, I just want to sit here and do my work. And he gives her the key, so there's enough trust to wear. That's a lot of trust, giving you the key to lock up. I don't care if there's cameras all around, sensors, who name it. That's a big deal. I'm thinking, Lord, something's going to happen. I know something's going to happen. So, Miss L, she's going, she's taking a drink. She's had a hard day. And, of course, I Hill comes up next to her, and he's jamming. He got his music in. He's like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> She's looking over there like, hey, so, because originally he was banging and he said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm distracting you. Hmm, hmm, hmm. She's like, well, what are you listening to? Because again, that's her job. She's supposed to find the next big thing. So, and he said, oh, someone who creates amazing beats, what beat? So he gives her one of the things, I'm, uh, earbuds. I'm thinking, mm, that's kind of nasty, but okay. It, it was clean. I saw it. It looked very clean, but. She listened to it. She's like, oh, this is a Bob. Who's it from? Well, a really awesome uh, producer that take down this number. Give him a call. You go and see. Oh, this was, a, this was a setup, wasn't it? Was it? She said, yeah, it was. Well, if you say it was. And so I wonder how that's going to pan out. I wonder whose song it is. You know, there's something always a little bit sketchy. What artists they'll go to. You never know. Now, back at work, Cotton gets interrupted by this younger girl. It's like, who are you? The receptionist's job is already filled. I have it. No, it's not about that. She brought up Cotton's dude from jail. It's like, oh, yeah, he's coming out. I'm his sister. And here's this. This is for you. And this isn't my resume. I'm thinking, okay, so does he want a job too? I'm assuming now she's probably going to have to give him the hookup since he helped her out in jail. You know how that is sometimes. Or maybe you don't. So the A&R dude from earlier, well, really from yesterday, he comes over and Carlos was like, see, you a dud. Because when Record Lady was saying all that stuff to us and being disrespectful, you didn't have our backs. You were just spineless. You're just usual. And he said, no, no, no. I got you producer approval. And she was like, what? I'm thinking, no, they earned his uh, uh, producer approval. There's a difference. But got her producer approval which means that they could have any producer they want doing their music instead of the record label dictating it which is huge that's a part of creative control and that rarely ever happens when you're a new artist so she was like oh because he brought home wine no he brought home liquor and Bruce said look we need the money because he wanted the fade and so she's putting money in uh, he's putting money in her pockets and some alcohol that's a good man right there
that's a good man right there. Now, ooh, ooh, that's a good scratch right there. Praise Jesus. Anyway, the girls are happy because uh, Carla is going to give them some news, but Al a star goes over to Alex and realizes she sees Derek fall. It's like, oh, wait. But then she sees Alex go and help him up, and that's when she realizes, oh, she's dealing with that every day. So when she talks to Alex, she says, you know, I saw what happened to Derek just now. So I didn't realize that it was that bad and all the time. So then she was like, you know what? I know you've gone through stuff. If you ever want to talk, I'm right here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, she was like, I told you, man. you taking care of some grown man. I told you that's what was going to happen. He said, excuse me? That's an apology? Girl, you know I'm stupid. I'm, that's my way of saying I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. You know, just lay your head on this bosom and everything will be okay, baby. Everything will be okay. <laughs> So when they get over to Carlisle, they find out that they have producer uh, control and approval. And essentially, Alex is going to go and produce their stuff, right, and produce their stuff. So it's a huge accomplishment, a huge win. They're happy. Star even apologizes for trying to fire Carlotta. And Carlisle said, yeah, and you were tripping when you tried that mess. Like, like, no, I'm sorry. They're singing, but Star has to get Simone back. So it must have been nine-something. Um, Alex goes back to Derek and... Tells Derek, you know, things were hard. I got some great news today. Um, regardless of anything, I do know that I want to be with you. And so then they hug and kiss and embrace. And they actually, they have, they have sex. And at first I was thinking, so how is that going to, but I guess something was working. I guess something was working. Because she had that look of, whoo, I don't know what he was doing, but it looked like it was working. When Simone got home, uh, oof, got to Juvie, she has a new roommate. That was the girl who helped her out and her friend killed herself. She notices a bag and, no, these pills. And so she puts the pills in the bag. And I was proud of Simone for not taking one for herself because you know Simone with them drugs. Ugh. But she's on a different path. So she took the pills and she put them in the bag. And she's, she's like, how many did you take? None. The plan was for this girl to you know go and join her friend to for them to go and take the pills at the same time her friend did without her so now she feels alone simone says look i know you don't know me but you're not alone i have your back we're going through this together you were meant to be here just know that you were meant to be here and i'm glad that she said that so goes and while Luke is performing, she goes, she kisses, she rubs up and feels up on him. He's doing the same thing to her. I'm thinking, oh, God. But then they didn't have sex. They didn't go all the way. She was just a tease. You know how Star is. She said, all right, I'll see you later, old man. I'm thinking, how old is this character supposed to be in relation to her? Because this would be really gross. So she comes back after doing all of that. And uh, she's going inside. Well, she, she's with Carlotta. And this man comes up and it's just like, Carlotta, like what? It's been a long time. She said, no, 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 what are you doing here? You know, I'm here to see my daughter. Hi, Star. I'm going to put this like this in some... Oh, God. Please like, comment, subscribe. I, I, I... Oh.